Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm going to be making a June favorites video because it is already almost July, which is crazy because when I think of June, I think of like school and stuff and whenever I think of July and August, I just think of summer naturally because I'm not in school in July and August. So just knowing that it's like, oh my god, it's officially summer now. I'm like really in a summer month and it's really here. It's just, it's great. It's a great feeling. So I am living it up and really enjoying the summer, um, or at least trying to. I've been working the past week. It was my first week actually starting work last week, which is why videos weren't as frequent. So I'm going to be making a video today just highlighting some pro projects, <laughs> products that I have been using a lot throughout the month of June. So I'm gonna get the beauty items out of the way first and then I'm gonna move into the more random and then clothing accessory stuff near the end because you guys subscribed to me for the beauty so I'm gonna get that out of the way in the very beginning. Okay, so I'm gonna start with like the skin, some things that I've been really liking and all of these things have sort of a, a theme to them which is summer naturally. So if you're looking for some products to try out for the summertime, I definitely suggest the ones that I'm going to be talking about. So um, the first thing is just having a really good sunscreen. I don't know if you guys want like a summer essentials kind of video. I'm a little lost on what I should do the next summer loving video on. So if you have any requests, please don't hesitate to comment down below. But um, anyways, definitely an essential when it comes to summertime is sunscreen. You have to wear it no matter how much of a tan you want. Sunscreen always comes first. You have to protect your skin before you can get it to look the way you want it to. Um, so make sure you're using sunscreen and the reason I'm showing this one is because it's really really good. It's the Neutrogena Wet Skin. If you're if you like to swim um, and it's like or maybe it's a really hot day you know you're gonna be sweating. A lot of sunscreens can just sweat off or just come off in the pool. This one can't and it's SPF 50. It's really awesome. I love Love it by Neutrogena. You can find it at CVS, Walmart, Target, wherever. And I'm a huge fan. So that's the sunscreen. Um, I mentioned this in my last video with the haul with the Aveda stuff. But the scalp remedy, I've been using it for about a week now. And I really, really, really like it. I tried it out and then the next for like two days. And then the next day I didn't use it. And I was starting to itch. So I could tell that this was actually doing something. I spray it right down my part, like right under here. I pick up my hair and really get underneath. Not on the end so much, because that's not really where it flakes. It always flakes up near the scalp. Really get it in there. It smells like peppermint, so it's really, really nice. It smells really good. So I really like this. So the scalp remedy, I'm gonna have to pick up another one at some point, because I know I'm gonna be out of this soon because I use it a lot. So it's awesome, I really like it, so this was definitely a good buy. Um, another good buy from that video was the Origins VitaZing Moisturizer, and there's something that I didn't talk about in that video that I actually discovered with this project. There is a tint to it. So if I put some on, there's like some left in the cap, so I'll just use that. If I put this on, it's not just like a moisturizer. Like you can even see on my hand. I'm sure this will pick up on camera. Can you see that this is a total different color from down here? And this looks orangey, right? But it's not. It really matches your skin tone. So this is like the best swatch that I can do. So you see how it kind of looks like I have like a glove on right now. This is darker, this is lighter. It totally looks orange on camera, but it's not. The beauty of this product is it really changes to your skin tone because when I put this on, I, nobody noticed I had foundation on, but it just like made me feel like a teeny bit more like, I don't know, glowy I guess because it wasn't just that moisturizing effect, it was that color. So I really, really, ooh, as I drop it, I really, really like this one. Um, so this is a really good buy. And there's SPF 15 in there, which is perfect, especially for my job because I'm working right under the sun. Um, so the Vitazing, really love that product. Um, also, if you don't have a moisturizer with a tint, but you want something with a tint for summertime that's not going to melt off, Used this before, swear by it. There was a point of time where this was the only foundation I was using. The CoverGirl Aqua, Smooth, Aqua CG Smoothers in 720 Creamy Natural. Really, really good foundation. It's just like a tinted moisturizer, but it's not um, that pricey because it is a drugstore brand. It does the job. It doesn't melt off. It gives you that nice light to medium coverage. Not heavy, which you 
it, which is good because you don't want that for summer. So really like it just looks like this. You can just pump it out um, or squeeze it out and it's just great coverage. Love it. So if you're looking for a good drugstore um, tinted moisturizer, I suggest this. And if you want a two-in-one, I suggest this. Um, okay, moving on to more makeup. So this is something that I have really, really, really loved, especially for the summertime. This is a pricey option. I'm not going to lie to you. I've had this for over two years. God, I don't even know if this is expired or not. Honestly, I don't even care because this is like my secret weapon. And this is the Chanel Ombre. It's like a liquid eyeshadow. Um, and the shade that I have is in 90. It's a liquid eyeshadow with a doe foot applicator. And when you apply it, it's really, really pretty and like shimmery. And it just gives you that very light tint of shimmer. Now, there are a lot of liquid eyeshadows out there. Some crease, some don't. This one doesn't. It's Chanel. It shouldn't. It's a really nice brand. Um, my suggestion is to just find something like this. Because it's just, it's, it's just not smart to put on tons of eyeshadow for the summer. And tons of, like, like I understand if you want a little liner or something, pick a waterproof one. Or pick a waterproof mascara. But really going all out with the eyeshadow, like, who cares? It's summer. It's summer, you have fun. If you're going out with friends and you're not going to be outside all day and you want makeup, go ahead, put as much makeup as you want on. But me, personally, you're not going to see me with a full face of makeup at the beach or at my pool or with friends outside because it's just not practical and that's not what summer's all about. So um, I do suggest a liquid um, eyeshadow and I do really like this one. Um, okay, the next product is a lip gloss and this is it for the makeup items. The rest are miscellaneous. Um, and this is the Sally Hansen Moisture Twist 2-in-1 Primer Plus Color. I was walking down CVS, down the aisle, the makeup aisle, of course, and then I spotted this, and I saw the big yellow new sign, and I was like, ooh, interesting. It really caught my eye. This shade is in Berries and Cream. I love this. I'm wearing it right now. And initially, it had, like, white like and white and peach twists throughout the whole thing. So that's called Berries and Cream. Huh? <laughs> Wait, is it? Yeah, Berries and Cream. Um, but... I was using it so much that it ended up just mixing into one color, but the one color it mixed into is really, really pretty. Do you see how pretty that is? It's like a really nice light peachy color, and I'm a huge, huge fan. Um, it's a really pretty lip gloss, and the applicator is actually really nice as well. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this. I'm trying to avoid the part that I put that foundation on because I don't want to get this dirty, but that's what it looks like. It's a very nice light peachy color. Really nice for summertime. I usually don't wear um, lip gloss in the summertime. You shouldn't wear lip gloss when you're in direct sunlight because it's going to cause your lips to really burn um, because of the ingredient petroleum in it. Um, if you notice, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but like in a, a lot of times when you go tanning, you might rub like oil or like Vaseline or not, or just something like oily, like a tanning oil to make you tan faster. Well, ingredients like that are found in lip glosses. So if you put it on your lips, your lips have a tendency to burn and that's definitely not good. That's happened to me before. I remember when I was younger, I didn't wear SPF or anything on my lips and I remember getting the worst lip burns ever and they were horrible. Um, so definitely don't wear lip gloss when you're out in the sun, but if you're going out or something to a party or something, it's a really nice um, lip gloss and it's not that um, expensive. I got it from CVS. So I really like this. Okay, the rest are miscellaneous. Are you ready for this? Because there's a lot. All right, let's go. The first miscellaneous accessory related um, item that I've been really loving in June are ear cuffs. I actually have two ear cuffs and they're both from Etsy. If you want to see an Etsy collection, I will make one for you. I definitely have enough Etsy products to form a collection video because I'm obsessed with Etsy. But I have two ear cuffs from Etsy. The first one is one that goes on your tragus and it's really, really nice. It's actually from Israel because the person I bought it from is from Israel. But this is what it looks like if you can see the little guy. It looks kind of like that. Maybe I can put it in. You can see it better, but you just kind of like put it right here. I don't know if you can see, but that's what it looks like. So I really like ear cuffs. I think they're really nice. That one in particular you have to be careful with because it's very, very small and it can slip out easily. The next one is this one. And this is just silver with a little stone in the middle. And I was actually wearing this one today. Let me put it on my other ear. 
So this one, like the way ear cuffs work is you just cuff it around your ear, pinch it so it stays closed, and then it looks just like this. Really nice. It adds a little bit of like flair to whatever earrings you're wearing that day. I'll wear that for the rest of the video. Um, so those are all my ear cuffs right now, but I'm working on building up a little collection because I really, really dig them. So Etsy has great ear cuffs if you're looking for some. So that'll be in another video though, the whole Etsy thing. Okay, moving on to um, clothes because I have clothes and shoes and stuff, which is weird. I never talk about shoes, but I have some cool shoes to show you. So, okay, so the first pair of shoes that I'm going to show you I've had for like a month and a half and they're really perfect for summer and I've had a bunch of people ask me where I've gotten them and um, just like where they're from and compliments on them when I wear these which is a lot because they're super comfortable now being short I'm short I'm only like five feet um, if you didn't know that I'm very very small um, I always wear something with a little bit of a heel not all the time I mean when I go to work I wear sneakers but when I'm like out I always go for that heel I'm personally more comfortable in heels than I am in flats which is weird but I've been wearing heels like all my life and I love them so much my favorite for summer though are wedges because it's a happy medium. For people that are maybe just getting started with heels, the wedge gives you a little bit more stability. So if you're not totally balanced, it's a lot easier to walk in than just pulling out a pair of stilettos. Um, and it's also really nice for summer because it really makes any outfit a little bit more casual. So I wore these today. I'm currently wearing a black t-shirt and lime green shorts. You can't really see those right now. but. I'm wearing lime green shorts, and then I wore these to do a little bit of color blocking, I guess. Black, lime, black, I don't know. Is that color blocking? I don't know. I'm not a fashionista. But anyway, um, these are the shoes. Really, really cute and fun for summer. Um, they're just black. They have a nice little bow on the top, and they're from a brand called Mia, which is funny because that's the name of my dog. Anyway, guess where I got these? BJ's. I don't know where you can find Mia, or I, like, I don't know if there's a Mia store or whatever, but I got these at BJ's for under 20 bucks. So let this be a little, like, teachable moment, a little lesson for you guys. If you are looking for cheap shoes, go to BJ's, because I will tell you firsthand, you can find the cutest things at the places you least expect to find them at. Does that make any sense? It sounds like some weird proverb, but that's your little advice from G Bonita today. Um, so I really, really like these. Pick these up from BJ's, weren't expensive at all, and I've worn them a lot, and they've stayed in great shape. The thing about this is I had to go a size up. I'm normally a size 7, got them in a size 8 because the size 7 didn't fit me. They have them in hot pink, they have them in navy blue, they have them with a couple flower designs. Really nice. I went for the black because black goes with everything. So, that is the first shoe. That's right, there are two shoes. I know, this is crazy. Hold on to your hats. Okay, so the next pair of shoes are shoes that I actually bought today, like six hours ago, but they're really, really cute, and I don't know when the next time I'm going to be able to show you them are, so I'm going to show them to you now. So these are from the brand Top Moda, and they were $30. So, so worth it. Okay, so these are the sandals. I needed a new pair of sandals. These ones have a teeny weeny bit of a heel. Really, really comfortable. They look just like this, so you can see the felt pattern. I'm a huge fan of patterns like this. I'm a huge fan of like purses like this, like tribal prints. Um, I just, I really like that. I don't know what it is about them, but I really love them. And I really like these. I like how they're brown because I don't have a pair of brown sandals. I've the ones that I have are really, really dark chocolatey brown, almost black, and they're totally different style, and I've had them for like three years, and they're kind of beaten up, so I decided to get some new ones, and the store that I got these from are those kinds of, it's, it's like one of those stores that in a week they're going to be selling sweaters for fall. So they're one of those stores that like, you know what I'm talking about, like you walk in and you see something cute, and then you're like, mm, nah, I'll get it in two weeks, and then if I still like it, then I'll get it. And then you go back and it's like winter wonderland, and it's like mid-October, it's one of those stores. So they rarely stay on a season, and when they do, their cutest stuff is there, but if you don't get it, they're gone. So that's me justifying myself buying these. So, paycheck well spent. Okay, next. These I actually bought also at the same store today. Um, and I'm actually wearing the other pair of these in lime green right now. 
But again, I didn't know when I was going to be able to show you guys these and I can already tell they're going to be a favorite item because I've never had shorts like this before in my entire life. Okay, so these shorts are from a brand called Nameless and I'll show you what they look like. I got two colors. They had them in hot pink, they had them in coral, and they had them in lime green. I got the coral and lime green with help from my friend Julie. So thank you, Julie. Um, so these are what the coral ones look like. They're a really bright coral. I don't even know if my camera's picking it up. Probably not. They kind of look orangey, but it's a really hot coral, like hot, hot coral. I love these shorts. They're honestly the comfiest shorts that I own. Even comfier than the free people shorts that I was talking about earlier. Um, how much were these shorts? These shorts were, they were $45 each. And the thing about, like, this is, like, always my motto when it comes to buying things. If it's something that you know you're going to use a lot, then make the investment. If it's something that it's going to be, like, a, I'm going to wear these once for a party and then I don't know when I'm going to wear them again, then you really have to contemplate spending the money. That's my little spiel about, again, justifying myself. That was more for me and not for you guys. So thank you for listening to my little, like, justification. Anyways, so I got the coral ones, and the ones I'm wearing right now, I don't know if you can see, can you see? They're lime green, and I'm wearing them right now. They look really nice with the black shirt. I really, really like them. Um, so yeah, that's it for clothes and accessories. The last product that I have is so random, and I've never seen a single favorites video with this product in it. You can hear it already, shaking. Um, you're probably like, what's she gonna sew spray paint? What's she gonna talk about? Okay, so this is really, 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 really random. Excuse me in advance. But this is the Haggerty Silversmith's Spray Polish. Very weird, I know, but let me, let me, uh, let me uh, tell you a little story. So last week, I took this ring, I'll take it off for you, my Tiffany ring. My mom and I had the same exact ring. It's like a friendship ring. I took it, decided to clean it. So I had this cleaner that I got from some place. I don't even remember where I got it. Uh, I don't know, but I got it a couple months back and I never used it. And I decided that that day would be the day that I would clean this ring. Why this ring? I don't know, but I did it. So I cleaned it, and it said that you could put it in for like 30 seconds, so I did. I, I dropped it in there, and I put it in there, and I guess I left it in there like a little bit too long, like maybe like 20 seconds longer. So then I take it out, and this once silver ring came out purple. Yes, that's right, I said purple. It came out looking like it had been sitting in the rain for six long months and it rusted over and had turned a disgusting, putrid smelling purple. And I was very, very shocked and scared and sad and angry because I was like, seriously, I put it in for another 10 seconds and it comes out looking like some weird, alien thing like what is this this is not a ring this what this is not a ring what is this like what is this so I get it and I'm really really confused so I'm like okay I don't really know what to do now and then I go downstairs and I'm just like well guess what happened to my ring guys and then they're like oh what this is me talking to like my mom and brother they're like oh what my brother doesn't care about my mom's kind of curious and I'm like oh yeah it kind of you know turned purple <laughs> they looked at me like I was insane they were like how did you clean this ring and I was like I followed the direction Directions. I put it in for 30 seconds, maybe a little bit longer, but I didn't tell him that part. And then it came out so, purple. My brother was like, well, why don't you just clean it with some silver spray? And I was like, silver spray, you say? And so next thing I know, they break this baby out and they say, okay, go clean it and then come back. This is my lifesaver. And this is me reaching out to all of you. If you ever encounter the same issue that I did, if you ever try cleaning one of your pieces of jewelry and it comes out looking horrible, horrible and purple and rusted and you're just confused then use the silver spray because it works incredibly and what it is is it's just a polisher and it works with silver I don't think it works with gold it works with silver you just spray it and then you dust it off literally it came off in like 30 seconds it was amazing oh happy day I was very very happy so that is that so that being said that is all that I've been really enjoying this past month as far as makeup and accessories and miscellaneous products go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Ciao!